Think back for a moment. What is the last flood you can remember? Wherever this was, chances are it was forecasted several hours to days before it happened. Or maybe not at all. Had this flood been forecasted earlier, weeks to months in advance, less people would have been affected. This is what I am researching for my PhD. I look at forecasts of the water level in all European rivers. These forecasts are made every month and predict the river levels for the next seven months. We make these forecasts by reproducing the water cycle on very powerful computers. We take forecasts of the atmosphere, of the rainfall and the temperature, and put this information into a hydrological model. The hydrological model calculates river levels with mathematical equations, which describe the flow of water under our feet and in our rivers. There are a few slow natural processes that allow us to forecast river levels a long time ahead, like snowmelt, for example. Imagine you're a forecaster and you were sent to snowy mountains, like the Alps, in winter. Your job is to forecast what the water level in a nearby river will be in spring once the snow melts. To do that, you would probably think of measuring the amount of snow in the mountains to estimate how much snow will melt and flow to the river. But wait, have you thought about the fact that more snow might fall after you have made your forecast? And how can you find out exactly what day it will be warm enough that the snow starts to melt? Well, you cannot know these two things for sure so long in advance. Sadly, I am not the one taking snow measurements up in the mountains. I look at how good the river level forecasts are from behind my computer. Using forecasts made for all of Europe since 1990, I am trying to find out when, where and why those forecasts were good or bad in order to improve them. This work is important not only for forecasting floods longer in advance, but for many other things important for our day-to-day -day lives. Knowing how much water there will be in a couple of months helps farmers water their crops and water managers plan water supplies to provide us with food and water. <laughs>